We're going to look now at the properties of angles in triangles. Of course, a triangle will have three sides, and therefore it'll have three angles, A, B, C. So here's what we know about triangles. The sum of the angles in any triangle will have to add to 180 degrees. So that means this angle A plus angle B plus angle C must have to equal 180 degrees. And so if this angle was 100 and this angle was 42 and I need to know what angle C was, well, I know that 100 plus 42 is 142. And so then if I go 180 degrees, take away 142, that would leave 38 for angle C. So that's an important property for the angles in triangles. The sum of all the angles equals 180 degrees. Well, let's say we had this situation here where the question, let's say, is to find all the missing angles in triangle ABC. So we know angle A is 100 degrees but we don't have these two angles down here. But we do know that this angle here is 130, and we also know that angles along a line, so the angles between here and here, that's half a circle, so those two must add to 180. So because 180 minus 30 equals 50, then we know that this angle in the triangle must be 50 degrees because those two must add to 180. And now, also knowing that the angles in the triangle have to add to 180, then adding 150 together, we get 150 degrees. And so angle C, the other angle here we have to find, would be 180 minus 150 degrees, which is 30 degrees. Let's look at another example. So let's consider this example here. We've got a diagram here with a bunch of line segments and a few angles we know. We know that angle's 30, that angle's 30. So we would say that WY is a bisector of this angle here, X, Y, and Z. And then we have also know that these two angles here are are 70 each as well. And the question is, what's the relationship between X and Y? So we've got to find these two angles. So let's get a different color here. Well, what do we know first? Well, I know that angles on a line here have to add to 180 degrees. So I've already got 70 and 70. So 70 plus 70 is 140 degrees. So then an angle X to Z to W is going to equal 180 minus 140, which is 40 degrees. So this should be 40 degrees here because all of these angles would have to add to 180 degrees. Now, looking at triangle X, W, Z, I now know that this angle is 40 this angle in here is 70 degrees. So then I know that angle WXZ is going to equal 180 degrees because that's the sum of all the angles in a triangle. Oops, not 70, this should have been 60. Can't seem to add 30 and 30. 30 plus 30 makes 60. So angle W XZ, this angle that I'm trying to find up here would be 180, take away 60, and take away 40, which leaves 100 degrees. So angle X is 100 degrees. Let's check. 100 plus 60 is 160, plus 40 is 200. Apparently I can't subtract. That's why it's always good to check. I've made two little mistakes in this video already. So 80 degrees, let's double check that now. 80 degrees plus 60 would be 140, 
140 plus 140 is 180. Good, so we've now got angle X. That's 80 degrees. So we still need to find angle Y here. And, oh look, we have another triangle right here. So in this triangle, let's just draw this out here again. This triangle is 30 degrees. In this angle here, rather, that angle is 30 degrees. This angle would be 110 degrees. So if I want to find angle Y, that's going to equal 180 for all the angles in this triangle subtract 30 and subtract 110 and trying to be a bit more careful here 180 minus 30 minus 110 is 40 degrees so I now know that this little angle up here is 40 degrees so it looks like what's the relationship between X and Y it looks like I can say angle X is double angle Y So that's how we can work with angles in triangles and their properties.